Good evening, I'm Kipley Brown. Yeah. And I'm Brett Pope. Here's our top story. To prepare for upcoming debates, President Obama has asked John Kerry to play Mitt Romney. Kerry was seen as a good match because he and Romney both require the same size batteries. <laughs> The Obama campaign has released a series of ads targeting women. Uh, in response, Republicans have released their own series of ads which use women for target practice. <laughs> Three top Democrats from West Virginia plan to skip the party's convention this summer, said one of the West Virginia Democrats. It's not that we don't want to vote for Obama, it's just there's a big family reunion that weekend, and I got to find me a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, the first Chinese woman went into space. Her spacecraft is easy to spot because it orbits at 20 miles an hour and never turns off its blinkers. <laughs> so true. I'm sure you can tell that I'm offended by that. Certainly offended. Last week, or rather on Monday, Facebook bought facial recognition company Face.com, explained Mark Zuckerberg. Buying Face.com will, for once, give me a chance to needlessly redesign somebody else's website. <laughs> <laughs> a new study finds that confidence in U.S. public schools is at an all-time record low. The record's results may be inaccurate, however, because the people who did the study all went to public school. <laughs> Writers for The Simpsons and Family Guy have written a letter to the Emmys protesting the inclusion of an episode of Community in the animated category. Actually, The Simpsons writers wrote the letter and then Family Guy writers just copied it. <laughs> and now, where hard news meets Hollywood, we're here with the entertainment news is Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Bobby Brown has gotten married again. Not much is known about his new wife except that she hasn't paid attention to the news in the last 20 years. <laughs> Kristen Stewart was named Forbes Magazine's highest paid actress. Stewart was so happy to hear the news, she almost smiled. <laughs> Adam Sandler's new movie, That's My Boy, opened to the lowest box office for a Sandler comedy in over 15 years. Yeah. Commented Sandler. I was so upset that my movie flopped and I threw a temper tantrum and acted like a baby. <laughs> Which I filmed and will use for my next film entitled <laughs> NYPD Blue has been arrested for punching his pet poodle in the face. He is also being questioned in the disappearance of Jimmy Smith's career. <laughs> Bon Iver is designing a line of shoes for charity. They are the first shoes ever made that have no soul. <laughs> a study by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine says that the world's Future food security is being threatened by obesity. Experts were shocked at the revelation that London has a school of hygiene. <laughs> the AARP came out with a list of surgeries for seniors to avoid. The list includes knee surgery, back surgery, and whatever it is Steven Tyler has done to his face. <laughs> researchers from USC say they have found the cure for pathological rage. Added one of the researchers. At least we did find a cure. That was until my colleague stubbed his toe and demolished the whole lab. I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate him too. 
A Seattle company has created a line of non-alcoholic beer for dogs. And just like most beers, the commercials will feature a lot of really hot bitches. <laughs> a 71-year-old man in Kalamazoo, Michigan, has earned his 29th college degree, and yet he's still not smart enough to get out of Michigan. <laughs> I gotta agree with you on that one. Yeah. People from Michigan kinda suck. They're terrible. Especially if they're between the age of like 25, 35-ish. East worst. Lansing, I don't know. Yeah. I think all of them. Yeah. 